fighter planes. Leave it to Baker. Starring Matthew Baker, Monica Baker, Igor Kutsin, and Elizabeth Baker as the monkey. You know, I was just thinking, um, I appreciate everybody watching the vlogs, all 15 of you, I think. I have 15 subscribers. My goal is to try to bump that, <laughs> bump that up to like maybe 50 by the end of the summer. That would be nice. Um, and that obviously means more content. So with that, um, for those of you that don't live in the Los Angeles, Hollywood area, um, you may not see a lot of the things that, uh, that we can see on a daily basis like the Brady House. So I came up with a list of a few things that I wanted to have in some content coming up. Now, um, leave a comment below. Let me know what you want to see, and I'll do my best to try to stop by there and get some get some shots of it. But, uh, okay, so here's my list here. I wrote down uh, Brady House, uh, Marty McFly's house. I know where that house is. Circus Liquors is right down the street. They use that for many things. The Hollywood sign, of course. Grauman's Chinese Theater, Laurel and Hardy's film, The Music Box, uh, in Silver Lake, there are the steps where the piano comes down, I know where that's at, Charlie Chaplin's studio, I know where that's at, the Burger King from uh, Back to the Future, uh, where Marty McFly leaves Doc's house and takes off past the Burger King, that's, that's right down the street, and uh, Burbank, um, let's see, in the movie Vacation, uh, when uh, Chevy Chase falls asleep in the car and they go down the uh, the off-ramp and they uh, they just miss hitting someone. That's actually a block away. In fact, it may have been in uh, in the shot in my very first video when I'm crossing Coanga. But I'll go down there and I'll show you, uh, show you what it looks like. Um, the Back to the Future Mall. That's something uh, the high school that uh, Richie Valens went to. I know where that's at. Uh, let's see. The school my son went to, Walter Reed, if you ever remember the movie License to Drive from the 80s, Corey Haim, Corey Feldman, they filmed part of that right there at the uh, at the front of that school. So we can go by there, I can show you that. Franklin Canyon Reservoir, that's obviously where they did uh, uh, Andy Griffith, and I think they did Brady Bunch there. They may have done a few things. Any, anything they needed by a lake, they used that reservoir. Uh, let me see, um, the Poltergeist House. Oh, and Nightmare on Elm Street House. I know where these places are. The Halloween House and uh, Father of the Bride House. All, obviously, they're all just houses and stuff. But still, they're also places that uh, may be of interest to you. So let me know if you want to see anything, all right? Oh, I also started a batch of my chili. Remember I was telling you about the chili in another episode? I'm going to show you some of this chili that started making today. We threw some chicken in it, too. So check this out. All right, so we got our crop, crock pot going here. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh, you can't smell that, but mm-mm. That smells so good. Can't wait. Probably about six more hours and that's going to be absolutely perfect. All right. Hey Elizabeth, we're walking down the street going for a walk right before Memorial Day. Got to show you these trees. So these trees, there's plenty of them here in LA, but now is the perfect time for them to blossom and drop their flowers. Now I'm going to have to obviously switch. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch this to color so you can see it. See how beautiful it is. Elizabeth's picking up plenty of flowers here. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Oh, yeah. See the gargoyle? Oh, creepy, huh? <laughs> You're silly. Daddy loves this truck. I don't like that. Oh, yeah? I'm going to come around the, the truck here. There's an old Ford. John, what do you think of this one? You liked the F100 in my last video, or one of my other videos, but what do you think of this one? Split window, so cool. Look at that, even with the forward loop. There it is. All covered up. It's been sitting here for a couple of months now during this uh, stay at home order. But you know what? I'm taking it out today. Why not? the old girl. There she So the chili is done. Let's take a look at this um, and tell me what you think. Of course, we've eaten quite a bit of it already. As you can tell, this is where it started up here and this is where we're at. So there's a lot of tasting uh, as it's being made to see, uh, to see its worthiness. And it is damn good and worthy. I am telling you. Uh... If you guys want, let me know in the comments below, and I will do my best to try to ship you a bottle. So, let me know. A big thumbs up? Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. Elizabeth just said, and please give a big thumbs up. How kind is that little girl? Yeah. Also, let me know if you want to continue seeing these in black and white. This is something I'm just trying out. Let me know. If not, maybe I'll switch them back to color, but this is kind of the theme we're going with right now. All right. Okay, we were going to do the word of the day as pizza, but the Polish word for pizza is pizza. <laughs> so we're not going to do that one. Um, how about if we do yak shamash? Which means? That means how. No, it means how are you. Yeah. See, that's, a, that's an important one to learn if you're going to learn a language. How are you? Yak shamash which I'm sure most of you probably already have heard once in your life. So, all right, enjoy your uh, pizza, which in Polish means pizza. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Enjoy. <laughs>